suburbs of Chicago, white neighborhood. I was the only black kid. That really fucked me up. <laughs> then I moved to a black neighborhood and it was too late. <laughs> I was white. <laughs> I didn't have any skills. I didn't know how to fight. I didn't know double dutch. <laughs> That's important. Some people don't know what double dutch is. I tell them it's when you get two dutch guys and you get in the middle of that shit. That's what they told me. They used to tease me, you know? Like, I don't have a great African name. My name's Marina. African names have great meanings. Like, my sister has the African name. Her name is Naila, which means one who succeeds. <laughs> Marina just means a place where you dock boats. You can take that any way you want. <laughs> I'm still looking. But I had this one girl that really wanted to kick my ass really bad, too, you know, because I was a new girl and I talked funny. And this girl was like, ugly, that's important information. Because ugly girls can fight. She was coming at me all ugly and stuff. She didn't care about getting fucked up because all this was already all fucked up. She was coming at me. She was like, who the hell are you? I was like, Marina. She's like, what's that supposed to mean to me? <laughs> A place where you dock boats. Man, she knocked me the fuck out. I remember coming to in the principal's office. The principal was surprisingly white. And I remember, you know, I'm bilingual. I'm gonna use my white voice. <laughs> she was like, Marina, you never get into any trouble. What happened? And I was like, I don't really know what happened. <laughs> I mean, that Negro hit me. <laughs> and she got suspended. I didn't. <laughs> so it worked out that time. <laughs> really like a sassy comedian on stage. I don't have that energy, you know that. I don't know why I'm doing this right here. <laughs> this, this is weird. This is not defined as sass. This is more like a sassy Elvis. So. <laughs> but I don't have, people like that from a black female comic. They like that, that, mm, that yeah, mm -hmm, that yeah. on BET, when the big women get up there, yeah, mm-hmm, how y'all motherfuckers doing? <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shake a dang dang. <laughs> Shake a dang dang. <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> Gotta be yourself, that's all I'm saying. It's always been a constant battle with me to do that, you know? Like, I know, like, uh, I came to New York originally to do theater, but it didn't work out. I did a play off, off Broadway, like Brooklyn. <laughs> Bed-Stuy. You could call it Bed-Stuy Broadway. I played this character, Shashu Aisha. <laughs> revolutionary sister. It was a hard play to do, too, because it was an all-black audience, and, you know, we get like to get involved. You know, and I had this line in the play where I tell my sister, because her husband just gets out of jail, so I say to her in the play, I said, maybe if you hadn't put so many unreasonable material demands on this man, this might not have ever happened. I was in my moment on stage. This girl got up from the audience. She's like, uh-uh. You need to slap that bitch. <laughs> I was like, it's a play. <laughs> Can someone tell her I'm acting? <laughs> I remember later on in the play, the girl who plays my sister, she accuses me of being in love with her husband. So her line is, she says to me, I could tell from the way you spoke his name. I could tell from the music in your voice when you spoke his name. And that same girl got up from the audience. She's like, uh-huh. <laughs> I heard it too. <laughs> That's Brooklyn for you. <laughs> being out there, I was, I was constantly trying to find like salads and everything was fried. And I, I went to this one place to try to get a salad and I get this girl behind the counter with the attitude. I'm like, can I get a salad? She's like, oh, we ain't got that. 
I'm like, I see a salad on the menu. Well, I said, we ain't got that. <laughs> then I see her going to the back. Tisha, Tisha, come here for a second. Ain't that that same bitch we saw on that play? <laughs> Oh, thank you. It's a long show. That was like the play. That was like a little theater portion. <laughs> the theater. Um, her name was Moot. You didn't argue. You were gonna lose that battle. She was the one who kept me really rooted in my blackness. Like, she used to take me to church, like on the south side of Chicago, and the preacher would get up there and just take all day. Never get to the point, just get up there. Mm -hmm. Like he had something really good to eat before he got up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he never talked about nothing. I woke up this morning. Mm -hmm. Then I, I said I took a step. Mm -hmm. Then I took another step. She used to heckle that preacher. She was like, God damn, go somewhere, she. He wouldn't hear it though, he'd just keep going. Sister Jenkins made us some peach cobbler. Now that peach cobbler was good. God said it was good, amen. And afterwards I tell my grandma, I was like, you know what grandma, that was a nice sermon. She was like, oh shit, that nigga going to hell. Types of guys, I don't really care. I used to date a Haitian. Uh, do you guys know what that is? Yeah. You guys got real quiet. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? That's a black man that won't let you out the house. And then he speaks French, his own kind. <laughs> this man used to yell at me about doing comedy. He was always like, you know, Maina, do I like this thing you are doing? <laughs> this comedy, you think you are so funny, so ha ha. <laughs> you need to stay home and cook, you need to take care of Mazuzo. <laughs> That's his cock. <laughs> him for a long time too. Four years. That's a long time to be with someone when you don't like them. I was like, how the hell did that happen? Then I remembered the first time we went out and I remember him saying to me, by now you're going to be with me. Forever. <laughs> Voodoo is some real shit. Mm. I don't know. It's so hard. I had this happen one time because New York is really the mind your business capital of the world. You know, you just just mind your business. I didn't learn. It took me a while to learn that. I had this one woman. She was yelling at this child on the street real bad. Like, I would love to have kids, but I've seen some of the mothers that have kids, and they look like they have lost their fucking minds. <laughs> So it makes your clock tick and stop. This is the child, because I don't have one. Unless you want to get up here. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do if he actually got up here. Anyway, she was just yelling at, she was like, get your ass over here. I said, get your black ass over here. Get it over here. Now what the hell you crying for? Shut it up. I said, shoot it up. <laughs> I'll pop you in your mouth. Stop calling me mom. <laughs> I looked at her, I was like, oh my God, you don't talk to a child like that. She looked at me. <laughs> She's like, what the hell you looking at, huh? You wanna raise my child? <laughs> no. <laughs> you doing a great job. I was scared. I ran. I 
I'm a good runner. I ran three long Harlem blocks. I was like, don't look back, just keep going. But you can't help it. You want to see what's going on. I looked back for just a second. She was still standing there looking at me. 